what's up guys welcome back to another video as usual i forgot to shoot an intro while i was out on the town running around but what you're gonna see is just a day in the life of me trying to get a wholesale deal oh man this stuff is this tough this stuff is tough it was a lot of fun learned a lot today and uh, i'm excited for you to see how this video went down if you're new here we like to turn that like button blue don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future updates to how my whole endeavor is going you can reach me over on instagram at lily underscore invest and let's dive into the video all right guys what's up we are driving to the property that we have under contract well one of the two properties that we have under contract right now this is a house that we have for $85,000. That's the contract price between me and the seller. Um, it was a pocket listing from a real estate agent, meaning I actually contacted her about a separate house she had for sale on the MLS, and that one just wasn't gonna work out to be a good deal. But I told her I was an investor, and I asked her if she had anything else that might work for me. And she said, you know what? I do actually have a property that I'm planning on putting on the MLS in a few days, but do you wanna take a look at it before I upload it? And I was like, yes, absolutely. And so, she sent me the address, we came out here, saw the property, and basically I made an offer. Sight unseen, hadn't been inside, just a couple of pictures, but based on what she told me about the house and what I thought there was um, a gap between what they were asking and what it might be worth, seller accepted my offer. So I offered 85,000. I think this property could be worth between 120 and $130,000. And some people might say, why would anyone who has a house that could be worth 120, 130 sell it to you for 85? Well, the gentleman who lived in this house is an older guy and basically the house hasn't been updated since like the 70s or 80s. So all of the appliances are original. I'll put pictures up for you guys to see this, but there's wood paneling. Um, there's just repairs that he hasn't made. And most of all, there's carpet in both of the bathrooms and the kitchen. And so this house needs to be brought up to like a 2020 modern standard. And that's why I can get it for 85. Now, what we're doing today is we're meeting a investor that I actually met on biggerpockets.com and he buys properties in this area and I'm trying to sell him the contract for $90,000. So everybody is aware of what's going on. The agent knows that I'm a wholesaler and I will be partnering with this cash buyer. If you guys want to see a video about how to tell agents that you're a wholesaler without scaring them away, I will definitely link to that in the description below. But she knows that on this side and the wholesale, uh, the investor, he knows that I'm a wholesaler and he knows that I'm charging a fee for my work, finding deals and just basically dumping them in his lap. This is him pulling up behind me. We're about to get started. How you doing? These guys are looking at me funny because of my face shield, but I don't care. I ain't trying to catch the Rona. We're trying to find the sewer clean out so we can do a water test because there was a leak 10 years ago in the bathroom and we don't know if that leak is still going underneath the slab. If it is, that's bad. This probably isn't a deal um, or I'm going to have to get it for a lot less. So hopefully there's no leak, but we got to find the sewer clean out so we can test the leak. I don't know what else I'm going to find in here, but let's see if we can find a shovel. The sewer clean out, we can't find it. And uh, now they're digging to search for it. So they're about to turn on the water in the house. They've got the, uh, they've got this, they've got the sewage cleanup. Wait, what'd you say? No, good. Cool. They got the sewage cleanup blocked and now they're turning on the water in the house and I'm gonna plug up the tub. And if the water goes somewhere other than where they have blocked, then there's a leak. If the water stays because we've got the sewage line blocked, then there's no leak. So fingers crossed, no leak. So how would you rate that slab leak? Like after I would say it's small, so we just uh, not touch it. If there wasn't cracks in the break, I would say just leave it. It's not causing any problems. I think it probably is causing this corner to drop like it is, 
and as long as that leak continues to be there, it will probably get bigger um, and this will drop more. Um, that pipe is cast iron. Um, so what happens with cast iron, they don't use it anymore, they use PVC now. And uh, with like Drano, if you get a clog, which he said he had a clog before, it may pour some Drano down the sewer line. Well, a lot of Dranos will react with cast iron and actually eat through the cast iron. So I've pulled cast iron pipes out before. You turn it over and the bottom of the pipe is just open. It's just like, well, you guys, you guys kind of decide what you want to do and then we can talk numbers and see what we can do. Okay, cool. I don't know how much of that you guys were able to hear but basically they were checking to see if there was a sewage leak because the owner 10 years ago had a leak in the master bathroom in the shower and he got it fixed but we can still obviously like see the cracking on the ceiling and especially on the outside of the house like the brick is cracked and so they wanted to check and see if that leak like the shower itself was fixed but the actual pipes underneath the house if there was if those were still leaking so you guys saw kind of how they did that they did find a leak um and yesterday when i met with one of the partners he was like hey if there's no leak bring the contract and we'll go ahead and get this thing signed but um there was a leak so he said he'll get back in touch with me um i think that these guys will be good uh cash buyers for me they told me their buy criteria. I know what areas they're looking in. So I know that I'll be able to do future deals with them. Just a couple of things on this deal. The first question is, how much are they gonna ask for off? Cause I'm asking them for 90 right now. We think it could be worth 120, 130 uh, with a rehab of 15 if there's no leak. If there is a leak, how much of a discount are they gonna ask for? That's the discount I have to go back to the seller and ask for. So we're just kind of waiting to see what they say on that one. Um, and then obviously got to see if the seller agrees to that. I do not know what's happening there, so I'm just making it through. I think it was good to, you know, meet those guys and mm -hmm. like he said, they pay more than most people because he said, because we can, which I think means because we have cash and we're not getting loans. Right. You know? Right. Those are the guys you want. Exactly. Everybody else is 50, 50, you know, and they're a little scared. I'll send them my deals first right. at 85% you know and if they don't go for it right then i'll reduce it down but i can get the biggest wholesale checks with mm -hmm. them yeah you heard him you heard we said we want someone so hungry who's always looking for deals so they're gonna like you you know you're on top of it All right now i just gotta lock them up you basically solve a whole problem for them which leads or you know potential. yeah leads that's it where's the gas All right Although I doubt we can get more gross on the... I'm not gonna hit it. So we're heading to the office for the other agent to drop off the earnest money check and then, what do you have to do next? Oh, her office is on Yale, and there's another house on Yale that just came on the market this morning. I talked to the agent for quite a while, and she gave me some information, but there's no pictures up. So something that I found is like, people will post, or the agents will post the house on the MLS before they actually have the pictures taken. Like, she posted it this morning, and the pictures were just taken at noon, so hopefully they're up this evening. But, when I look at the description or the price per square foot, I can tell what type of condition the house is in. And this house is for sale for about, I think $80 per square foot, which in this area, normal would be like 100 to 115. And so that right away told me, okay, call this agent and see what the, the um, condition of the house is like. And she told me that the lady who lived there was an older lady, she's moving out, she wants to sell, and like the house is in pretty bad condition. She said that the master bedroom is almost like a studio meaning like there's no separation between the bathroom and the actual bedroom. 
So she's like, that's definitely gonna have to be fixed. So I was gonna meet her at that house at 2.30, but it's already 3.10, so I knew when we were at the house that it was just taking too long, so I had already texted her and canceled that appointment. So I'll just have to wait till the pictures hit the MLS. Usually, I like to try to get an offer in before the pictures even go up, because once the pictures go up, oh, everybody knows this is a, a house that would be good for an investor, and then all the other wholesalers are on it, all the other investors are on it. So I'm gonna have to wait until the pictures go up, I think to get an estimate for like what the rehab might be but um i'm still gonna drive by there it's on the corner of two main streets which i think is gonna hurt the arv because people don't like to live like right off of a main street so i'm gonna drive by see what it's looking like and then try to run some numbers when i get back to the house I dropped off that check and that's for the other property I'll put some pictures of it up for you guys here but this is a completely different agent and she's in her office she ran inside real quick and she's like her office there's another agent in there so not my agent but another agent and my agent was like oh how to how did the inspection go this morning and I told her oh man we found a small slab leak and she was like, oh, that stinks. And the other agent was like, where was that one? And I was like, oh, it's in East Tulsa. And she's like, oh, that's what we do in East Tulsa. And I'm like, is that racist? What are you trying to say? But I was just like, okay. And then I gave my agent the check and I left. But I'm just like, huh, what do you guys think? It's racist. It's racist. All right, time to go drive by this other house. The one where there are no pictures up yet and then we're heading home to hopefully make some offers. Quarantine life. Yeah, I don't I don't see how he could have a problem with it. He said he's been meaning to sell it for two years. Who's been meaning to sell a house for two years? Like, well, how are you so busy? <laughs> What have you been doing? That's smoking? the most random thing. Smoking, yes. I'm gonna drink this Sprite if you don't. Want no, it. no, it's the last one. I'm dying of thirst. Corral, drink water. Ain't no water. There's water somewhere. All right, we can share it. Give me a napkin and wipe it. Wait, there is water. You got water? Yeah. That's just a small bit. We can share it, but come on, I've been thinking about this Sprite. Uh, I it's thought the it was last a whole box one. in the house. No, no, the box was almost empty from the trip anyway. Oh, well, go ahead. I don't need it. I got water. I mean, that's not much. Like, I don't need to drink this whole thing. Sure. Also, I hope you know your voice is going to appear in my YouTube videos. That's cool. Ew, this water stinks. Ew, don't drink it. It must be old. Yeah. I'll go for the spray. <laughs> you don't got corona, do you? No. Hope not. I've been chilling with y'all this whole week. You drink all you want, then I'll drink. How about that? <laughs> we'll see if I decide to edit that in. Where are we going? Another house? Yeah, just to drive by. Oh. It literally, I called her two minutes after, and she was like, she picked up the phone. She's like, "Whoa, you're quick." Yeah. That's right. Yeah, oh I'm God. quick. Let's go. I want that reputation, Lily? I'm real I just about realized. my money. This is the main road. This is like a little service road to the house, but it's at the corner the back corner of this main road right here. But, so okay, this house right here was just purchased cash to be flipped. They had a dumpster out here the last time I drove by. So they're fixing that up right on the corner. One, two, three, four, five, maybe like six houses away from the one we're looking at. This one looks relatively new. You see the siding crew? Mm -hmm. Like. That looks that's like clean. maybe it's fresh or painted. Yeah. And then this house right here, the brick one, that's the one we're looking at. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna walk around the outside. Cool. It's like metal, but there's some wood up there. I guess after that slab leak, now I'm looking for cracking and stuff on the side of the house. I 
I know I have it in my notes, but I don't remember how old she said the roof is. Oh, she said this is a metal roof. It's like three years old. This is a nice house, but being on this busy street corner is definitely gonna take away from the uh, the ARV. Let me get y'all set up here. Right? Say hi to Donut. Okay, so let me straighten y'all out. Should be good. Okay, so first things first, I am trying to, what am I doing? Okay, so first thing I gotta do is Call the agent for the house that we just left and let her know a price reduction is probably coming because there is a leak. And yeah. then I need to run comps so that when the pictures come out for the house that we drove by that's on the corner, I can have an estimate of the rehab based on the pictures and then I can get an offer in because I know that uh, offers are gonna be coming in as soon as as soon as that house house's pictures go up. All right, so I'm gonna call this agent from my laptop and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys are able to hear. All right, she didn't answer. All right, so I just got off of a little like mentorship coaching call with one of you guys, Ron, shout out to you. Uh, I talked to Shauna earlier as well. So yeah, it's just great to connect with you guys and um, support, like I'm no expert, but just walk you through kind of what I'm doing, like what's going on in these whiteboards behind me with all the contracts that I'm trying to juggle and close and everything. So, okay. All right, I know you guys don't usually see these whiteboards in the back of my normal videos, but I decided I would leave it because that's what's usually there. That's where I'm writing down the offers that I'm making, the contracts that I have active. Um, yeah, that's just where I'm keeping track of everything. So I usually move them, but if you guys want to kind of know what my system is and everything that's going on over there, just uh, book a call with me in the description below and I'll walk you through everything that I'm doing to try to make this wholesaling business work. All right, quick interlude. I'm at my parents' house, but uh, hey, Shushu. I wanna show you guys something cool. Come here. Let me turn the camera around. Cherie. Hi, Shushu. This is my dad's red-tailed hawk. My dad has been a falconer for like 20 something years. And this is Shuri. Hi, Shushu. Hi. If you guys have questions about Shuri, Put them in the comments and I'll give them to my dad. Or you can follow her on Instagram at Shuri the Red Tail Hawk. Yes, she has her own Instagram. She's about to fly over to the other perch. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, Shu. Fly for us. You gonna fly for us? Here she goes. Hi, Shu. <coughs> so yeah, that's Shuri. Back to real estate. Okay, what you guys didn't see is when I went downstairs, I fell down the steps. <laughs> I'm fine. My shoulder hurts. My pride hurts a little. But even worse, let me straighten the camera out. I don't know if that's any different than before. But oh, my shoulder hurts. Yeah, I can see myself. Basically, oh boy, my cash buyer texts me his rehab list. Ow! So I'm gonna pull up what he sent me. Also, my brother's here, so if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm looking at him. You wanna say hi? What's up? <laughs> okay, he said, here's the rehab rough list. Roof and decking, I'll put a picture of this on the screen so you guys can see. Roof and decking, 6,000. Flooring for, for 1380 square foot, 3,500. Painting, cabinets included, 4,200. Drywall, 1,500. Exterior wood rot, 1,500. Tree removal, 1,000. Hauling off all the crap, 500. A new hot water heater, 1,000. I'm surprised they're replacing the hot water heater. But I guess they, since they're putting money into it, they just wanna do it. Exterior door, 500. That brown door's gotta go. Master shower, 1,000. Light fixtures, 1,500. Window blinds, 500. Outlet switches, 1,000. Cleaning, 300. Landscaping, 350. Recalking the windows, 450. Main bath, toilet reset. Yeah, that's gotta move. The toilet like right inside the door. They said only 100 for that, interesting. Miscellaneous, 1,000, and then the slab and the leak repair, 8,500 to 10,000. So, total cost, they're saying 33,500 to 3,500. I think we will end up a little over 30,000. This does not include new cabinets or countertops or changes. Maybe like changes to the layout, he means. 
I think this rehab would leave us with an ARV of 120. I think a higher end one might push it closer to 130, but would cost more than the extra value would allow for economically, which we talked about. We would not be able to buy at 90. The max we can do is 80. So I was gonna say 75 to renegotiate, but mom said say 73. Just in case they want to know. If he wants to come up a little. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna text him and I'm just gonna say, Okay, I will let you know what we can do. Hello? Hey, this is Lily. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay, how are you? I'm doing fine. All right, so I wanted to discuss kind of what we found today. And okay. it was really good that the, the seller was one, he, he knew exactly where the, the drain clean out was. So uh -huh. as soon as he got there, he pointed us right to it, which was great. And uh, my partner, because you know he's able to speak more intelligently about the test and everything itself, he explained to the seller, hey, there's this cracking. We think that even though the leak in the shower itself was fixed, like the shower pan, that there's possibly a leak underneath the house, um, underneath the actual slab. And so he explained that to the seller and, and you know I just let him know, hey, we're just doing our due diligence and we'll let you know if, if we find anything. Unfortunately, we did find a small leak um so that stinks you found a small leak where where did you guys find a leak at underneath the shower so underneath the okay. slab underneath the foundation of the house and that's why okay, but, how do you, but how do you find how do you how do you, how did you guys find that leak again like i said um my partner is the one who actually found it and he explained it to like the seller when he was there and made sure he was okay with what we were doing but basically he blocks off the drainage of the sewer and then we filled up some water in the shower drain and it's leaking not through the sewer but somewhere else underneath the house okay right so basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fix that and we're gonna have to put a pier up on the corner of that uh, the corner of the foundation at least one where it's already starting to settle and so we're gonna have to ask for a price reduction to 73 so that we can fix all of that um, like I said I didn't want to go around you with the seller and so I didn't you know say anything like this to him because I want to respect that you're representing him but what he did say to me was that he wants to get this wrapped up by September he was saying I guess he's like already paid for I guess the expenses for the month of September and he wants to get it wrapped up so yeah if you can go back to him and just let him know what we found now we're gonna need to be at 73 and uh, yeah we can see what we can do from there okay so probably what he's gonna want to do is to have um, is to have somebody like to have like a plumber come out like a licensed plumber um, and and do like the test that you to do a test on that back shower to make sure just to for a second opinion he's probably gonna want to do that well let's let's let him decide because because like I said he was there well, already, and I mean, I'll, okay I will. I mean, and, I will. And, I'll let him decide I mean, yeah that, yeah that I already know. that's I mean, his yeah, right I mean, that's that's, that's his right if he wants to you know get a second opinion and obviously if he wants to do that as I don't know part of his due diligence to do so he can do that I don't have any problem with that um, but from our perspective and just what he told me, this is kind of where we need to be at. Obviously, it would have been better if we didn't find anything and we could just stay where we are. But that's right. I'm just letting you know, keeping you updated for what happened today. Um, basically, I mean, I talked to him. I, mean, I will definitely obviously go back to him because as an agent, like every conversation that is had has to be gone back and discussed with him as part of our ethics. So everything that's discussed between you and I have to take back to him. So. I'm already fully aware of that. So, and ultimately, you're right. It is his. It is his decision. Um, but I did talk to him about this yesterday about um, about whether or not you know that you guys are going to be looking for like shower pan leak and that you're going to be looking for like a hydrostatic pressure test. And basically, like you know, the the place where we're coming from, and it this happens in regular transactions too. Anytime that you have like a significant you know, repair that you're asking for or a significant like reduction in a price that you're asking for. I mean, it is more, it kind of would, would be kind of similar to like if somebody was asking for like a new roof yeah, well, I get before it. somebody just goes and does a new roof, they have a second opinion. And so, yeah. And I don't have um, any problem with that. Something though that okay. I do want to uh, offer is, and look, we have until the 11th. So I don't have any problem with him getting out, you know, getting someone out there in a reasonable time to get a second opinion. That'd be great. If they say that there's no leak, then we'll have to talk to my partner about what we found. But 
that would be awesome. Um, but what we can do, because like I said, something that he emphasized to me today was that he wants to get the house sold by the end of September. And so if we can do the price reduction, we can just make the earnest money non-refundable at that point, right? We don't have to wait until the 11th. You can change that on the contract or get an addendum, whatever, because if we get the price reduction, then we're good to go and the earnest money is hard and then the deal is wrapped up, you know, then we're going to, we're going to see it all the way through. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, so that can, I, yeah. that can give I him some peace of mind in that area. And then again, we can let him decide if he wants to get this wrapped up in September, like he said, and if he wants to get a second opinion, that's fine with me as long as it's, you know, gives us time before the 11th. For, for, for what? Because our, you know, my earnest money becomes hard on the 11th. So if he wants to, you know, have a plumber come out, just have that done before then so that we know where we're standing. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I wasn't understanding what you were saying. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's, I mean, there's no problem in doing that. I mean, unless that there's like some weird, I mean, today's what only like the second. So yeah, there should be no problem in getting a plumber to come out to do that. Right. Well, the, I mean, the deal is, is that like, I mean, the, the house, like the house, I mean, I don't think that, I mean, yes, obviously like he wants to wrap it up by like September, but like, I don't think he's thinking that, um, that, you know, you're, you guys are going to be offering $12,000 less than what was originally agreed to. So I don't yeah, think that. I don't know what I mean, he's thinking. All, let's I mean, let, let's I let him that decide. That would be an issue anyway. Yeah. Let's let him decide. Like it, well, it's what he wants. Lately he does decide because he's the seller. Exactly. He, so so what I'm saying is just like, let's not guess. I'll, I know, please I know. Please stop interrupting me for just a second. I'm you're, you're, sorry. you're being disrespectful. No, 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 no. Hold on. His, let's slow down. His, let's slow down for just decision. a second. Me again. I don't want to get on the wrong. I don't want to get on the wrong foot with you. Let's slow down for just okay. a second. I'm not trying to okay. interrupt you. I'm not trying to be disrespectful with you. And I don't want you to interrupt me or be disrespectful with me. All I'm saying is it. Let's not guess. Let's not guess with what he's going to say. I'm letting you know this is where we're at. And he can let us know where he's at and you can be the mediator between us, you know, as you are legally and ethically as the agent representative. I'm just saying, let's not guess what he's going to say. Let's just ask him and then you can let me know what he says. Now you can go ahead. Okay. That's, okay. That's, no, that's perfect. I respect that. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I will talk to him and I'll get back with you. Alrighty. It sounds good. I'll be here. Okay. I'll be here working for the rest of the night. So give me a call. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Alrighty, bye. What is she worried about? What is she worried about? All right, guys, I think that's probably enough for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing what a day is like trying to get a wholesale deal. I was hoping that this video, I would be able to say, look, I got a signed contract, but after finding that leak and asking for the price reduction, looks like it's gonna take a little bit longer. But as always, I'll keep you guys updated. Until next time, I post videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Thanks so much for watching.